This is an emergency, I'm begging urgently, this is a serious case. Uh, did you want this one recorded? No, 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 it ain't gonna go live. I'll do some editing if I have to. Okay. All right, okay, let, let me go over here to this app and mark that you called. All right, here we go, there we go. Bam, mark that you called. You should get a notification that, that you called. All right, so you selected the five cards that you want to be read on an emergency basis. Uh, once we get through those five cards, if we have enough time, I'll allow you to ask a couple questions. You know, anything that's that's okay. on your mind and all that, okay? Okay. All right. So I give you my spiel. As you know, I'm a direct energy reader. Don't believe in reading zodiac signs of birthdays. I ask that you be open with the spirit and have fun. Uh, did you pick relationship? No, you did not. Uh, well, you don't have to worry about a asking a question. You can skip all of them if you want or you can ask them, okay? Excuse me. Yeah. It's pollen season down here in uh down here in the south of uh -huh. Florida, yeah. Uh -huh. All right, all right. I'm excited. I'm excited. You got such a beautiful energy coming through the phone. Okay. <laughs> Real pl pleasant, beautiful. Okay. All right. Now, I've taken the liberty shuffling the cards. Let's do a quick prayer. Mm, 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 mm. Woo! So your first name start to pray over the cards. And do I have permission to cut your cards? Yes, you do. All right. So let me ask you a question. Uh, do you know anybody that paints? like uh, paints forests and buildings inside a forest or have you been looking at anything of that nature right now? That paint? Yeah, I like painting. Um, that does paintings of uh, like a castle inside a forest or a cottage inside a, inside a bunch of trees around it or something like that. If you don't know, don't worry about it. It's just what Spirit showed me. Maybe it'll come up. Let's go over here. We're going to go with your first card. Second card. Third. Fourth. And fifth. Now we're going to start with your first house. Your first house is ruled by Aries and it's governed by Mars. Your first house represents your ego, your self-esteem, how you see yourself, uh, what you think about you. Spirit is saying it's more long. Uh, how you want to see yourself like this is an ideal image of you uh, and in this house right here you have the two of water in the upside down position so spirit saying that you're trying not to be connected to somebody emotionally you're trying to hide your feelings or remove your feelings from somebody right now kind of like distancing yourself Mm -hmm. who um, um, our relationship wasn't good and then like in the end stuff came out and just I just I can't deal with it yeah spirit is saying you cannot deal with it and you're trying yourself to distance now spirit is also telling you that there's something that you're not doing in order to distance yourself from this now you can say Baron that's a lie I don't care your spirit is crazy 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 no. But spirit, I don't yeah. know if you're going to know what I'm going to say. Spirit, okay, go ahead. Go spirit ahead. says, why are you still entertaining these individuals? Mm. I 
think because um, I guess I'm familiar. Um, and familiarity yeah. and, and familiar being familiar happens. Trust me, it happens. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of people still out there dealing with with toxic ass people. You know, people that don't mean them no good that cause them to question themselves and and the other person's motive. All because it's safe, it's familiar, and let's face it, it feels good at times. It still feels good to be loved and cherished and uh, touch even by the, those people, correct? Yeah, yeah. So spirits say if you really want to detach from these people, you're going to have to take that hard bullet and uh, stop entertaining them. Would you like to ask this card a question? Yeah, right. Um, yes. Is he? Is he talking? Is he speaking about the two that I mentioned? My um, my child's father and um, uh, my uh, first uh, ex boyfriend. Spirit, are you mentioned? Are you asking? Are you saying she need to stop entertaining uh, these two men or just one of them? Let's see. Spirit say detach from drama. He's talking about both of them. These cards don't play. <laughs> I oh. know. All right. So now we're going to go over here to your fourth house. Your fourth house is ruled by cancer and is governed by the moon. Your fourth house represents your actual house in the home where you live. <clears throat> this card also represents the three closest okay. people that you will allow to stay in your home via friends and family. And in this house right here, you have the nine of water. You have the nine of water in the upright position. So, so again, I think this card reading is going to reveal something to you because I see a lot of air and water in here. Uh, so it's going to reveal something about you, I should say. Spirit say, even though you, even though you're, you're, it's a symbiotic thing. Fuck it. I'm going hard. Spirits say this is a symbiotic relationship. The more you try to pull away from these people, the more they kind of beg you. And when you begin to beg them, they begin to pull away. They, spirits say this is a push and a pull. They say because even this is how you guys have been doing shit so long that this is second nature. Okay, if he don't, if one don't come see you for a week, you call him and get in his ass, say some odd or give him concern. Then he comes over, shit settled. If you don't talk to him for a while, he'll come over there and do the same thing. Oh, I want to see the kids. Uh, uh, let me help you fix this. You know what? I'm giving you these generic scenarios, but it, it, uh, the message is still the same. Uh -huh. This uh -huh. is symbiotic. I know, I, I know what you mean. So spirit yeah, saying I mean, this is symbiotic. Yeah. At, with all the secrets and the emotions, that's the only thing keeping you afloat, by the way. Because if this person, either one of these guys actually, let's say they dumped you. Let's say they got the courage and they dump you. Spirits say your ship would tilt over. And let's say you got the courage to dump them. Again, you wouldn't know how to balance back. They'll be like swaying back and forth with your emotion like, oh my God. Because you have this thing where you self-loathe. And Spirit saying he don't understand that. Why you feel the need to self-loathe when things don't go your way? Uh -huh. Now, this is in your house and home, by the way. We ain't even got all the way over yes, here. because it's, uh, it's, um, it's the three people that I will allow to stay in my house are my family, mm -hmm. actually. And it has been, uh, you know, that type of relationship for years. Um, um you know, I grew up in the system and everything, and uh, so has my sister, but we've always been in touch with each other, along with my mom. And I've moved away so many times, but I can't come back. Just, I don't know. Okay, <laughs> so. Exactly what you described. Yeah, it's, 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 it's that symbiotic hurt thing. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's a symbiotic hurt. Uh, would you like to ask this card a question? Um, yes. Now, 
this way with them spirit said power of joy there is a change coming but here's the change uh have you guys get spirit say they see a storm like uh water flood uh not flood uh rain her tornado uh where you live have you guys just had any kind of experience any kind of rough I weather there. i live in louisiana okay i live in louisiana um you know but that area that I live in, um, fortunately, it doesn't really flood on this side. We're right outside New Orleans, but um, we do get a lot of wind. Um, so I mean, this house is still protected, though. You know, by the grace of God. So, so listen to me, good. But, um, listen to me, good. The um, very next thunderstorm, rainstorm, or windstorm you guys have blowing around that house. As soon as that thing is over, I don't know if people are going to lose property. I don't know what's going to go on, but I see you you moving and traveling. Now I'm understanding the painting of the forest and the castle between the trees and the cottage between the trees. You moving to greener pastures. So you move yeah, okay. and they're not coming with you. They're going to stay stagnant in this chaos. So things get better, but you got to understand once they're not with you, it's not spirit saying it's not your responsibility to make them feel good for abandoning you. It's not your responsibility to make sure they don't fall themselves. Everybody got their own lives. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So spirit say you're going to be happy if you can get past that whole abandonment issue, self-loathing. It goes to the whole thing. If the whole family get killed and one person survive, why did I survive? And then he hate himself and then go hang himself. We don't need that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah, right. So things get better as long as you can get over that 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 depression, self loathing thing. Okay. Okay. All right, now we're going to go over here to your sixth house. Your sixth house is ruled by Virgo and is governed by Mercury. Your sixth house represents your future economic affairs, future money, wealth, prosperity, growth, and investment. In this house right here, you have the ace of water in the upside down position. Now, you would think this is bad. Having any card in the upside down with this ace of water, you would think this is bad. Spirit say this is a good card for you. Because having the ace of water upside down, this says that emotionally, you're not going to be de depended on for financial stability from your family, your kids, hell, not even your dog. Uh -huh. They won't look at you and be like, oh, she got the ability to make it or she's going to take care of us or we can lean on her for it. She She's going to be the third party paying the rent in the house. You know what I'm saying? Spirit saying with this ace of water upside down, you something happens where nobody depends on you to take care of them anymore. Okay. And nothing bad, by the way. Oh. Okay. This is you moving okay, away. Because I'm like, that's weird. I, I have kids. <laughs> no, no, no. This is you. This is you moving away and doing your own thing. And then when you're doing your own thing okay. and you got your own house. I don't need you guys to come over here taking my shit. I don't need you guys. Okay, mom, you can't get it together, sis. You can't get it together. I'm sorry. I want to I wanna live a different way. Hell, you wonder why your relationship's failing and why you keep clinging on to these two particular individuals. It's because that's a sense of normalcy. That's a sense of control, no matter how chaotic and toxic it is. But yeah, I would celebrate this one because, boy, mm-mm-mm, boy. Yeah, that's... Would you like to ask this card a question? Yes. Um, 
Let me see. So, uh, but when I when I do, you know, distance myself and move away and get settled, this is how um, people are going to see me and my finances. No, no, no. No, no, no. This ain't not how they're going to see you. This is how you're going to be. This is how it's going to be. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. When, um, I'm just scared. When exactly does he see this happening? What, like, what, <laughs> what should I look for? Spirit, what should she look for? What should she look for, Spirit? Spirit said you got to look for a teacher. Somebody that's going to come in and give you strong advice. Now, this outside person that's coming to you, they I don't know if it's a man or a woman. Um, I, I want to say like a, a male, but they're not going to be all beating their chest like Incredible Hulk. It's going to probably be some, some, some uh, you know, uh, homosexual person. A homosexual friend is going to give you some boost. Cause they got teach and educate, so somebody gonna come in and be your backbone. Okay. And once. Then, do I? Do I know this person? No, you don't know this person yet, but you're gonna start paying attention to this person. Matter of fact, here it go. It's gonna be a television personality or internet personality, and they're oh. gonna be sitting up there telling you how well you are, how good you can be. And you're gonna be listening to them, but they're gonna be they're gonna be uh, of the homosexual variety, and uh, you, they're gonna you're gonna be listening to them speak, and it's gonna click, and it's gonna click. Right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Okay. Have you been listening to anybody on the internet yet? Yes, I have. You're the first one I've reached out to, though. You know, but I have started um, listening to um, um, a female regularly, someone who I, it, it, it relates. It relates to me a lot that she says. It resonates. Yep. You know, and then my yeah. <laughs> mm hmm. Wow, you know, like I look forward to her little, you know, her little um, the, the readings and stuff. But you know, um, yeah, it's it, a lot of the stuff resonated, you know, well, and it's exciting. Yes. So, but and, I have, yeah. And it's finally gonna click. Uh, why spirit? If it's a female, why spirit saying that she's she's gay, uh, like a homosexual or whatever they call it nowadays. Okay. You know, um, but uh, you know, I could be wrong. I don't know. But there's also some another another person who I I watched with my daughter. Um, it's a man, and he just like says, um, "Huh? A witch, please." <laughs> <laughs> he says, "Witch, please." So we started. Uh, yes, that's the name of the um, of the show. Jesus you Christ. know, he goes like uh, does so. Well, my daughter's really interested in him, and you know, I I, I brought through him. But the other one, um, the readings, I I do watch a lot. You know, yeah. I look forward to her readings and everything. And then you know, yeah, I just watch them on on screen. I like them because they're free. You know, mm -hmm. <laughs> they they free. But, um, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, I I guess if I want a clarification. Um, I would have to, you know, pay a few dollars um, and see what she says. Like, I did that, like, twice. But it's like, she doesn't say my name. She doesn't speak to me or anything like that. But just, like, um, she'll, the, the Zodiac reading. You know right. what I mean? I, yeah. I I got a lot of respect yeah, for people who yeah. I got a lot of respect for people who read Zodiacs. Let me tell you something. I try it, and it's very hard to tap into 10 million people on the planet. And I'm very good at doing one. I mean, I, I can do it, but but if you yes. want something direct, if you if you want something direct, you go to yes. a direct energy reader. So you came to the right person, and we're gonna mm -hmm. we're gonna find this out. But once that, yes. so that's that's exactly what I needed. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. But once you, once what this lady says click, and you're doing this, and you're just listening without taking notes. By the way, you need to take notes. Mm -hmm. When she talks okay. and he talks, take notes. Read the notes the next day and compare them to what's going on. This is gonna help you. This is gonna help you click. Okay. And once it click, because people, because spirit is saying these people are your teachers. These people are your educators. And once it click, you're okay. out. You're gonna okay. be like, I don't need to do nothing. Because they're going to talk about the abandonment issues coming up very soon. Those abandonment issues and, and forgiveness is coming up very soon on your chart, Spirit said. Because you have to forgive your mother and then move on. But once you do that, it's, it's out. I'm just telling you that's what they just told me. You know, but I know what I hold inside, and you know, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, just a little comfort, as you know, I didn't have a good relationship with my mother, and my grandma raised me and taught me everything I needed to know. My grandma and my uncle, so they taught me what I needed to know. So when my mom passed, I had to forgive her for that. You know, I was angry, but I had to forgive her for the abuse and the mistreatment and not taking care of her baby boy. And, and once I did that, I was able to really get past all the, the doubts, my issues with women and everything made me a better man. So this is what's going to make you a better woman as well for your relationship because you won't be so holding on to the familiar. You'll be adventurous with knowing that you're better than what you've been getting, whether the pain good or not. All right. So I'm going to go over here to your eighth house. Your eighth house is ruled by Scorpio and is governed by Mars and Pluto. Your eighth house represents your subconscious mind, what it is you think about, what it is you desire, what it is you, spirit said, what it is you bet, what it is you gamble. Okay, 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 taking chances. Thank you, spirit. Spirit say, uh, this card represents you taking a chance. Uh, so in your mind, you're you're worrying about the gamble, taking a chance, and leaving and moving and everything. Uh, in this house, you have the six of air in the upright position. Having the six of air in the upright position, spirit is saying this: you taking a chance from being logical about your emotional situation to being emotional about a logical situation. And I hope you understand. And if you need me to break that down a little bit, let me know. So what the situation you're going through right now, you have made sense of it. It makes sense to you now. As emotional as it is, as heartbreaking, heartwarming, stressful, and all that shit, you've learned to live in that. You learn to make logic out of this emotional, out of your emotional circumstance right now. Spirit says you're afraid to go to the next level because it's emotional but you see more logic in letting go Damn. Okay. so so we make we 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 rational rational thank you spirit we rationalize the bullshit we go through and once we rationalize and we could put a formula to it and a pattern to it trust me it makes so much sense to us and everybody else be like this nigga crazy but it makes sense. That's logic and chaos. But if you, yes, but if you are, but spirit say you're betting, like you're taking a chance and you you want you're wanting to take a chance and move to something different, do something different, even from the way you wear your hair, even from the way you wear your clothes, even from the way you even walk in the house. Holy shit! Why are you trying to walk in the house and kick in the door versus just? Being, being turning the doorknob so you don't cause everybody to, to look at you and make noise. Serious? Why are you Why are you creeping around your own dwelling, walking on eggshells? <laughs> that, oh my god! <laughs> because I feel like it's not mine. Like, <laughs> um, it's just. You know, it's, um, I really want to move from this house. Um, the landlord and myself don't get along. 
I just, I want something better than this. And it's, you know, he has a family that stays next door. Uh I hate this messy ass neighborhood. It's just, Mm. But you've learned to live. But you, but you've <laughs> learned to live with it. It's safe. It's a, it's familiarity. Yes. Spirit. That's what this card is it saying. Is. So, Mama, do me a favor and take the chance. Take the step and get the hell out of Dodge. Okay. If if my spirit is telling me you're better than your situation and circumstance right now, on all levels, love, finances, family, if you're better than this. And the hardest thing for people to hear is that when I tell you this, you're better than your family. <gasps> Baron, if we can't be egotistical and think we're better than anybody. Bullshit. Yes, you can. <laughs> if spirits say you're better than all of them shits around you, you're better. Search for better. So spirits say stop making sense of this, Ill of this illogical shit that you're in and take the gamble and make sense of the emotional state. So get busy living. Okay. Okay. It's easier said than done. Uh, you, you're, okay. you're absolutely okay. right. Would you like to ask this card a question? Yes. What what steps do I take, or what should I? Um, uh, Spirit, what steps yeah, should she? What should I do to? to Spirit, what should she do to get started with this? What should she do to get started with this? Spirit say, work your magic. You want to know what you need to do to get started with this? Spirit say, work your magic. Start. Do something. I don't care if you have to manifest and pray. I don't care if you have to send me a, a, a letter, an email every day. Telling me what you're going to do. I don't care. Send it. You write it down. Read it yourself what you're going to do. Let's start forming this habit in your mind that I'm going to do what the hell I say I'm going to do. How about you say it with me? Say, say, Baron, Spirit, I'm going to do what the hell I say I'm going to do. I'm going to do what I said I'm going to do. I need the I'm hell in there. What the hell I said I'm going to do. Give me some more emotion I'm behind it. I'm going to do that's how I said I'm going to do. Alright, now slap your leg and your thigh and your table, wherever you're at. Hit something and say it. I'm going to do what the hell I said I'm going to do. Damn right. That's what you say every day. When you make a comment and you say, I'm sick of this place and I'm tired of living here and I'm going to move, you follow that up with, I'm going to do what the hell I say I'm going to do. God damn it, drill it home. That's working your magic. It's, 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 you say it's easier said yeah. than done. No. Well, it is easier said. But by being easier said in our day and age and with our spiritual energy, once you say it, it's going to happen. So as long as you keep saying it, it's oh, going to get okay. done. You're right. You're right. You're right. So remember, this card says you're going to take a gamble at being better than the rest of them because you are. Okay. Now we're going to go up here to your ninth house. Your ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius and it's governed by Jupiter. Your ninth house represents your future, your reality, what will come, what will be. And in this house right here, you have the ace of okay. air, the ace of air in the upside down position. Having the ace of air in the upside down position, spirit is giving me one of those, uh, those positive negatives. You know, them, them whole little, little little enigma shit so the positive and negative say spirits say you're you're gonna you're gonna be afraid to talk to speak up but the the part of you being afraid to speak up meaning that you're gonna be doing so good in your life in the future that you're gonna be afraid that these people are gonna come tear your shit up so you're gonna ignore them You fo you following what he's saying? Um, somewhat. Go ahead and um, uh, go ahead and clarify that, please. Spirit, let's clarify this. What you saying to him? 
father, husband, brother, son. Now we getting some wealth. So once you once you let go of these two individuals, or not let go, put these two individuals in their place, you're not going to be calling on these individuals, and I'm talking about the men. You're not going to be calling on these male energy to satisfy you or to conversate with you because you're going to be afraid that they're going to fuck up what you already got brewing because there is somebody new coming your way. So if you're used to baby daddy coming over there okay. fixing the light bulb and that light bulb pop, you're going to be like, I ain't calling this man. He may come over here and he may get stupid and see my new boo uh, uh, and then he's going to fuck that up for me while I'm trying to get something going. You see, that's like the, the, the negative. It ain't that you're going to stop talking to them out of fear or you're afraid it's just like you're gonna be like i don't want them fucking up my game uh -huh. or should i say my okay. or should i say my games plural right exactly yes <laughs> yeah uh so where's your daddy my dad yes Spirit, why are you telling me to ask her about her father? What's going on with her father? Persistence. Okay. Uh, you you stopped taking your father's advice? My father's advice. Um, are you, put it like this, are you conversing with your father? Uh, yes. Uh, I, I started back conversation with him. You started yeah. back, but are you taking his advice? What? Oh, put it like this. Spirit say, Spirit say, are you telling him your situation for real? My situation? Are you telling your father, exa so, yeah. exa are you telling him exactly what's going on? Like asking dad, dad, what would I do with this situation here? Dad, what can I do concerning this? Are you, are you coming at him like that? So want me to take so let me stop let, let me stop you there. Let me stop you Let me stop you there. Let me stop you there. Okay. Spirit saying you're not taking his advice, you're not conversating with him properly, you're not looking to get his advice on things. So in turn, spirit say you need to start asking dad, what do you do about the subtle small stuff? Dad, what would you do with mother if she's acting like this? How should I handle my Sister, and she's acting like this. How should I handle mother? How should I handle my feelings with what's going on with our past? You're not doing any of that. You, okay. hey, Spirit say this is a key part in you controlling this masculine energy that's manipulating and using you that you've grown very accustomed to dealing with. And I don't mean to be hard on you. I'm just telling you what Spirit's saying. Cause they, okay. cause they say you need to be. They say father, husband, brother, son, and they say you need to be very persistent with this. When you get the courage, you step up and you say, "Hey, dad, I got a real serious talk. I, you know, I know you got a new wife. I ain't trying to start no shit, but I really want to ask you. I got two men in my life. How can I help? How can you give me some insight and explain to your dad what these two men doing? Dad, me and my sister ain't getting along too good right now." What can I, what would you do? Just hypothetical. Don't say nothing to nobody. What would you do if, if this was going on? Give me some advice. Because he done lived. He done broke away from everybody and now he got a new wife. He got a new life. This is what you're supposed to be emulating. He's been away, yeah. This is what you're supposed to be in him. And once he got away from that negativity, that drama, this man got a whole new wife, a whole new life, a whole new start. Spirit say this is who you need to be asking questions to. Okay, okay. Oh, listen, all baby girls need their daddy. And I'll be, yeah. I'll be damned. Okay. 
if I not if I'm not in my baby girl life, I don't give a damn what she do. I know that's right. <laughs> yeah. If you if you if you kill yeah, somebody, he's trying. He's, he's trying to come back. Uh, yeah, and I lost So if he's trying to come back, pour into him. You hear what spirit saying? I know. I know. Alright. Now that completes your five cards. How you feel? Good. Good. Do you have a couple questions for me? Random question. Okay. Um, um, okay. So, um, I know earlier, um, Spirit told me to look out for, um, water. Something, um, that has to do with water and my uh, my change. Um, does he know about when this will happen? When because um, it rains sometimes, but it's gonna rain and like stop and go, stop and go, you Spirit. know. And Spirit, when is this hurricane, this tornado, this 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 the water, this natural catastrophe supposed to happen? That's gonna trigger her to to her trigger this separation from from her situation. Give me some. See the other person's point of view. Trust. Okay. See the other person's point of view. Trust and go now. Wow. Spirit say when the spirit say when you have to walk through water, wade through water. I don't give a damn if your house flood. Once your house flood, that's a that's a catastrophe. What he's saying, because he's saying wade in the water. You're going to have to wade in that water. And once you realize that your okay. shit done got soggy, messed up, you in boots, you the tank done backed up in the house in the front, you, you ain't going to take that shit. You're going to be so frustrated. I'm out. Peace out, bitches. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he ain't giving me a date. He giving okay. me an event. So if your house flood, you're going to snap and you out. It's going to be the cause for you to move from your location. You got me, landlord. Okay. Landlord, I'm not living in this shit if the yes, pipes flooding, and you're gonna take off. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. We got time for another. Okay. I said a painting. I said a painting. That's why I asked, did you know a painter? Right, but the, the painting was of, of a castle in the middle of a forest, sort of like, or a cabin around green pastures. This is you moving to another location, moving to some place where you can think, where you okay. can be comfortable. That's what the Baron here for. Listen, we are we here to help the mean spirit. We here to help, man. If I listen, mm -hmm. if you go purchase your tarot reader, and the only thing they can do is tell you your future, or tell you what's going on around you, that ain't good. That you got to have solutions with this, cause we all need solutions. Well, so how so how did you like your reading? I loved it. I loved it. You know, um, I don't feel like I'm spinning. Don't know which way to go. <laughs> Listen. You know, that's how I was feeling in the beginning. But um, mm -mm. you got stone cold direction. It worked out. <laughs> you got stone cold directions right mm -hmm. now. So uh, do do what spirits say now. Put those two people in check. Put the brothers in check. 
Baby daddy need to be in check and the boo thing need to be in check because they said you need to detach from drama. You need to go ahead and drop them. They they, they don't have their time with you and you don't have your time with them. Something better come on the horizon. Uh, forgive your mama. Forgive your sister. Start listening to your daddy. And they say uh, with working your magic, take the gamble. Take the next step. Just do it. I will gladly Real give quick. you I will gladly give you one more question. Okay, so this is completely off subject. Okay, but um let's see. I tend to ask for um certain answers in my dreams and everything and um I I I, I remember them and everything like that, but I just want to know that I'm not tripping and the answers that I am getting are, you know, <laughs> Spirit. The, the ones I'm asking for and I'm not just like imagining it. Spirit, are you, are you guys giving her true answers in her dream? Spirit said priorities. Yep. Yeah. Are you giving them, are you giving her true answers? Priorities, freedom, and fertility. They saying they trying to give you the answers so you can set yourself free. So everything that's coming to you, that these okay. everything is coming to you to get you to break these chains that's on you. Thank you, thank you. No problem. If you need to reach me, you know how. Thank you. Um, and, uh, after you edit and everything, what what is this book gonna be named? Do you know the part to look for? Uh, I don't know. I would I would probably call. I uh, know what. I'm going to call it Flood of Emotions. Okay. So write that down, Flood of Emotions. When you see Flood of Emotions, there you go. Alright, cool. Thank you. Thank you so much. Alright, darling. You have a great one. You too. Thank you. All right. Bye. All right, everybody, that was really good. Good reading, quick to the point. She was confused, but she got the message at the end, and that's all that, that's needed. This is beautiful right here, 100%. I'm feeling good. She's feeling good. Her energy is beautiful, and it was feeling good. And I know she came confused in the beginning. You should, if y'all guys could just see how she just lightened up, and it was just so simple. I love it. Remember, positive comments below. Hey. And just so you know, how about y'all start liking the videos right when you come into the room? I'm trying to I done start doing this full time on my own, y'all. I need the support. I need the help so YouTube can make me valid, you know. And with that being said, all right, everybody, I'm the Baron. Telling you guys to trust the UN universe because at the end of the day, y'all, you got. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Y'all have a great one. Soul Tribe. Hit the like button and the share. This is from my ancestors, correct? Yes. <laughs> so as you know how it works, I deal five cards. First, uh, I deal five cards. The first four cards are reserved for female ancestors. The last card is reserved for a male. Uh, the opposite energy can come through either one at any time. It's just who's stronger, okay? Okay. Be open with the spirit and have fun. Uh, I want you to focus on the message and not the characters. I'll try to give you as much detail as as it takes uh, to help you figure out the person. But keep in mind, they're your ancestors. You might not have known them. You might do. Yeah. All right. So let's focus on the message and not the character. All right. This is going to take about 30 minutes. So I got to learn to mm -hmm. really kick to that. So, with that being said, I so say your first name, so I can pray over the cards. Do I have permission to cut your cards? Yeah. All right. So let's see what's going on. We got one. 
Okay. Two, three, four, and five. gonna start with your we're gonna start with your first we're gonna start with your first ancestor reveal yourself okay. reveal yourself ancestor okay. playing games playing games because they did Mario Brothers they say Nintendo games uh, who are you she's back from the 80s 89 84 I mean, she 84 to like, I'm going to say 91. Uh, she's a female, uh, very attractive, slender body, bronze, brown skin, really brown, really nice skin, very attractive. Uh, heart, she, had, she has heart tattoos on her chest or on her tit. Uh, she was in love. So what's your name? Let me see. Can I get your name or give me a little bit more where you lived? Uh, she was she was from the like uh, she is from like uh, the the I want to say like a, a Detroit or Chicago or one of those really dark Gotham Gothamite cities. I would even say a Pennsylvania or something like that, but it's just a really dark aura. Mm. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I'm my family's from the country, but we have. Have had family that has moved on to like Philadelphia, but Philadelphia. That, there you go. It's a really dark yeah. energy. So this isn't. This is from eighty four to ninety one, where she's giving me that range where everything looked at dingy because the clothes were dingy. She, she. So her message to you was: she says she's pretty. You're pretty. Uh, she's saying things along the lines of. Uh, why why are like why are you letting him play games with you or he's playing a game with you? Oh. Cause she get she representing Oshun and she's representing Oshun humbling down. And she says, Why are you letting him play a game with you? Or why are you why 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 do you know he's playing games? She's trying to put you on to something. Do you know what she's talking about? No. I mean, the only person that would come to mind would be my husband, and I don't know what game she's talking about. Okay, so the game you do need to be aware. You do need to be aware. So the game that she's talking about is him trying to keep you stagnant in one spot, darling. Um, and then she says she, her message to you is go now. I don't know if you in some kind of abusive relationship. I'm not talking that, but I don't know if he got his hand on your head saying, stay here, sit here. You can't do nothing. But she is saying he's playing game. It's a game to him. Like being forceful is a game to him. Okay. So okay. again, is he doing anything like that? Is he bitching if you do this? Is he moaning if you do that? I'm just trying to get where she at. Hard, like on my back or something like that, and I've asked him to stop many times. There you go. So, we here, here in the south, we call that slick robin. You got me? Mm -hmm. So, don't, you. don't slick rob me, motherfucker. If you got an issue with me, don't slick rob me and hit me on the slide deck to get out your fucking aggression so I can't put it back on your head. But, your, uh -huh. your, your kinfolk kill. Is saying this is something you need to go now, meaning I need you to put a stop to this right now. Next time he do it, file off on him. It's a game, okay. and you and you laugh at him. Okay. Would you like to ask her a question? Did I meet her? Um. Are you old enough? Uh, Are you old enough to meet her? Are you living good? I, I would have been. I would have been. Uh, 
elementary school age. Okay, because I'm I'm seeing you young. Spirit, did you meet her? Spirit say detached from drama. No, you didn't meet her. Okay. She but she say no you didn't meet her but you need to detach from the drama that you and this man possessing, okay? Okay. Now we're gonna go over here to your second ancestor. Your second ancestor earth element. What are you talking about? Dun, 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 dun. Why is all this music and video game? Okay. This this ancestor, she's a, a entertainer. She's an entertainer, but she plays blues music. Uh, sort of like sing and dance, old-fashioned blues. Or something like that. She says she was down to earth. Uh, think, of it, think of Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. Mm -hmm. Think of that era. Yeah. So you wouldn't have known her, but I'm just trying to... I need you to talk to your family about this, big time. Now she, she's saying, she's saying you're down to earth, but you can't be the woman you need to be because that's, you're trying to be down to earth. You're trying to be home girl. You're trying to be cool. She's saying it's time for you to step up and be the wife, the mother, the head of the house, stand your ground. Do you understand what she's saying? Yeah, <clears throat> I acted like a uh, well, censor myself, I guess, to play nice, to keep everybody happy. Let me tell I you something. To start. Ain't nothing about being a strong woman. I ain't even going to say black woman. Ain't nothing about being a strong woman nice. You have to fight ten times hard as a black man. You have to fight ten times hard as a female. So if you're going to be the wife or you're going to be the woman and your role is wife or mother, I need you to really stop trying to be calm, cool, and collective and put that shit out there. Okay. This is what your kid folks saying. Would you like to ask this card a question? Um, am I allowed to ask like how, like on what side of the family? Yeah, we can we can see what side of the family you come from. What side of the family you come from? That's that's pretty cliche, lady. Give me some more. What you, what side of the family you come from? She say, who is the more uh, non-violent, religious-based, diversified? She say these people are so chill. So they almost Buddhist. They don't hurt nobody. They won't curse. They won't. They, hell, they won't even smoke a cigarette. Um. I know that. She say that. She say they don't do the shit. They did. They wouldn't last doing the stuff she did when she was in the clubs. So these people don't go out to the club. They're more spiritual based, and they can see the better side of things. They are happy people. Like they'll joke, they'll they show love. They show love more love than anything. That wow, that does not clear though. <laughs> Jesus Christ! So uh, let me help you. So your mom's side, when you go to a cookout, when you go to a picnic, is everybody looking at each other with knives in their hand? Okay, it's a lot of drama on your mama's side. When you, if you was to go to a cookout with your dad's side, how would the people act in that setting? I can only remember from being a kid. I remember them being friendly, but my dad was estranged from the family, so I can't say it as an adult, but I guess well, that it's, it's definitely not my mom's side. Yeah, there that. you go, because they said these people had power of joy. And if and if your mama side got drama, they ain't got joy. So that's how she's talking. Yeah. So this is dad. Okay. All right. So now we're gonna go over here to your third ancestor. You got a pretty diverse family. Diverse I'm being nice when I say that word. Okay. You got a pretty diverse family. 
know who are you all right this particular individual is in a mental hospital you should know this person because they just they just passed away about six years ago if that anybody went to a hospital sanitarium old folks home because this is a male energy though he just passed away about six years ago yeah six to seven years ago male energy nursing home hospital uh crazy house crazy house um i'm trying to make a Did he did I mean, he, he crazy, but, um, Did he well, did he go to a nursing home? Um Did he no, go to a hospital? Yeah, he was in the hospital when he passed. That's um, okay. He was in there for quite a while. All right, that's what they saying. So this is this male energy, okay? Don't overthink it. You gotta think the slightest when you're dealing with your ancestor because they coming to you so you can recognize because the people coming to you they got a message for you. So now he is saying he was trapped in his head because you got the eight of air in the upright position. He says, I was trapped in my head. This is what you're experiencing, darling. He's saying you're experiencing the same thing. It's just that you're not laying down. You're trapped in your head, right? Mm -hmm. So now he says his message to you is you need to find a blessing in your current situation. Get out of your head and understand that there's other stuff can be done. If you can't defeat this problem with, 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 with thinking about defeating it, there's other ways to be done. Do you have a brother? Do you have a sister? Do you have a cousin? Do you have the ability to cut something off from this person? You know what I'm saying? He's saying you're trapped in your head looking at you one way. And he says he was trapped laying in a bed and he could only see things one way. You're in your head and you're speaking to yourself like, oh, this is this is the way my life is going to be. This is the way my life got to go. He says, find the blessing in your current situation that you have help. Somebody can help you out of this situation. Rather, you need somebody to come and talk to your husband. Rather, you need somebody to come and get counseling to you. Oh, that's an interesting word to use, counseling. Yeah, very interesting. And he's saying it. Okay, um, uh, I know I need to go to therapy, and it's something I've been thinking about a lot more lately. And um, uh, so this is my confirmation. I just need to go ahead and do it. That's right. I see. I, I my the ancestors care about y'all, but when they come, they come. Would you like to ask this card a question? Can I ask? Is this my grandfather, Robert James? Grandfather, is this are you Robert James? He said, take charge of the situation. I asked him again, are you Robert James? He says, you are seeing the situation accurately. He said, yes, it is. And take his, take charge of the situation. Oh my God. This, these people care about you. They know what you're going through, sweetheart. Yeah. I don't know you. I they, my granddad. they know what you're going through. You don't you don't feel it because you're too busy thinking about all this other stuff. You're trapped in your head. You gotta have meditate and have peace for them ancestors to come and talk to you. Okay, I can definitely do that. So look into that counseling and what he said, but you need to get help. Cause you 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 stuffing a lot of shit in, sweet. You stuffing. Mm -hmm. Alright, now we're gonna go over here to your Oh boy, my why? Why do I want to grab my eye? Why? We gotta go over here to your fourth ancestor. I don't know what the fuck my neighbor's doing out there. I can hear him all the way in here. We gotta go over here to your fourth ancestor. You're different. Why are you different? Why are you different? Why are you why are you not coming up as an ancestor? Why are you saying you you're not part of this family but you're you're you don't belong. You don't belong. This lady is saying she don't belong to y'all. Like y'all casted her out, 
the family casted her out. Give me a give me a year. Give me an era. Give me a year, lady. Give me a year. All right. Do y'all have an old family house that's like literally next to a lake? I want to say. Well, let's say did your did your grandfather disown any of his daughters? Cause she's a recent person. Um, my grandfather uh, was known to sleep around and disown quite a few of his kids, but there is one um, daughter that I was aware of, but um, I didn't know that she passed. Ooh, well, she, 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 she. She came up and she bitching. She say she don't belong to y'all. Y'all didn't accept her. Y'all cast her out. So, that damn boy. That, that sometimes the spirit even shocked me. I was a little kid. <laughs> well, she came up in your reading. Now, what she's saying is, she's saying you're you're un you're unbalanced emotionally. She's saying you're you're unbalanced emotionally and you're making kind of bad decisions. Her message to you is you need to retreat to nature with your heart. Meaning, I'm going to need you to take your love out of this game while you get your shit together, okay? Say the, say the tough questions. Talk to the people the right way. Ask the tough-ass questions, darling. You got to. She's saying she y'all cast her away and she said that you're you're you need to stand up for yourself for for you like fall away or, or you or you become unrecognizable to your own family this is depression she's talking about depression because she had depression It's not normal and she's coming back. She's saying you're going to lose your identity. Uh, would you like to ask her a question? Um, I want to make sure I got the right side of the family. <clears throat> Is she uh, the can sister I, of Kiwi? Can I say something? Uh, yeah. You got some really great messages coming here. And um, uh -huh. and I can't let you waste asking a question to your ancestors who coming up here on where they're at. Again, you're focusing on the character and not the message. That's true. I don't want you to waste uh -huh. this. Ask her something concerning why she feel you're going to be depressed. How can I break out of the depression like will therapy be the catalyst for that ancestor will therapy help her in this situation nurture yourself I hear that you see you see how it's working mm -hmm. therapy so they say nurture yourself yes therapy is where you need to take care of your mental now we getting it so now we finna go over here to your last ancestor your last ancestor who are you Dynamite! I got you, buddy. Do you, do you, okay, this is this is. Uh, I want to say this is your granddaddy's brother. This is your granddaddy's brother. Did he? Okay. Did did you, did you have an uncle? Or I'm gonna say I want to say your granddaddy brother because they say he looked like a granddad. He keeps saying I look like I look like dad or something like that or I look like pop. So he called him some kind of name, spool, a nickname. But he 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 was a sexual predator or he actually committed a crime like that or somebody accused him. Okay. I don't know. I mean, I don't know if it's interesting. My granddad would call him pop. Okay. Um, so he say so he say he looked just like pop. Okay. See, I'm I'm on the right path with you. Okay. So, he, but he's saying he, he people didn't like him because he he had he liked sex or he either 
had a sexual addiction or he either slept with somebody and they accused him of rape. So, uh, his name starts with a number. It's like they called him a number. Six, eight, five, three, two, one. You know. Yeah, I don't know. Well, and he's represented by the eight of fire and upside down. He says that he had to stop. He had to stop popping off getting upset hurting people he had to stop hurting people he had to stop hurting people so maybe it wasn't a rape i think he just hit a woman after they got through doing what they did okay he stuck he didn't rape them after they got through doing what they did you know he got in a fight with her and he got in trouble with the law so they kind of they wanted to add sexual assault and people kind of turned up on him because they like oh yeah he he did drugs he drank you know he capable of it and he's saying he didn't so he had to change his life around. So now he's his message to you is positive change, cause whether you know it or not, people are people are seeing this depression on you, and people are saying that you're capable of doing something bad to the people around you. If you hurt somebody, you have no recourse. Nobody gonna believe that it was an accident. You follow me? So if this man is running around slapping you in the back and it hurt really bad and he hit you on that wrong day and you turn around and put a butcher knife in his ass, you know what I'm saying? They ain't going to say it was a reflex. They're going to say, oh, he been fucking with her. She was depressed. She murdered him. Not she was, she accidentally. Yeah. So he's saying it's time for a positive change. Okay. You got to change the way you're thinking. You got to change the way you handle and internalize and stuff. Sweetie, if it hurt, it hurt. Don't, ow, don't do that no more and walk off and still screw later on that night. That's petting the bullshit. I'm a fan. So, you better change up because this depression is serious, so, sweetie. I don't know you, but you're getting close to it. Would you like to ask him a question? I'm gonna. Uh, I'm gonna email. I'm gonna email you something right now as well. Okay. Go ahead. I think moving away um, where I currently am and maybe going back home closer to family would help. Okay. Spirit, will moving closer to family help? Purification. Ooh, it'll clean you. Will moving back home closer to family help? Come out of the closet. Ooh, come out of hiding. Open your heart to love. That's what I'm talking about. I told you, you this. I told you, you was in prison. What Granddaddy said, you was in prison. If you ain't by your family, you had another nigga mercy. Yeah, I don't have any family up here. Girl, get your ass back home. Shit, hell, I'm telling you, the Baron, tell, tell the nigga the Baron, say, get you home. <laughs> yeah. I want you to check okay. your, I want you to check your email after this reading, okay? Okay, I will. All right, how did you like your reading? I liked it. Um, yeah, like I said, like, I connected with my ancestors and been a struggle for me, so this really has helped. And your ancestor came then and it wasn't even no struggle on my mind. These ancestors had a direct message of safety for you. Safety okay. and mental stability. And let me tell you something. That 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 depression is a bitch. I done seen it take out some great ones, man. Movie stars. I mean, predominant people of the community. And all because they was isolated. And what these cards saying, you are so isolated till it's destroying you. Make your mind up, take your ass back home, and if Boothang want to follow you, let Boothang be on your stomping ground. 
You got people there that can help. Mm-hmm. All right? All right. All right. That completes your reading. I'm so glad you enjoyed it. How you feel, though? I feel good. Emotional, but good. <laughs> so what I'm sending you in your email, I want you to pay close attention to that message I'm sending you. Okay. And... You just pay close attention to it, okay? Okay. All right, darling, uh -huh. are you, any other questions before I get off this phone? No, I think I figured out that last answer is <laughs> Okay. Oh, all, all right. right. All right, then, darling, right. you, you have a great you. No problem. Okay. All right, everybody. I, I'm I'm a I'm, I'm gonna say this. I'm very appreciative to our ancestors because they came in with no bullshit, no fluff, no must. They came in with a straight message for her to go get help. This stop this man from fucking with her. I mean, he love her no doubt, but he just playing games. And let me tell you, slapping somebody in the back with your raw hand ain't right. And that shit can the one wrong move can cause somebody to spiral out of control and fuck somebody up. So they grand but granddad came through, get your ass home, find the blessing in your current situation. You can go home, baby. You can get with your brother. I love this reading. This is one of like I know the energy wasn't all oh my God, I'm crazy. But I'm feeling her ancestors because they came through and they said, Hey, listen, well, I'm finna help you, baby girl. And that's what I love. So everybody, again, positive comments below. Click like and share. Click like, subscribe, and share as well if you're feeling this content now. I'm serious. All right, everybody. I'm the Baron telling you guys to trust you in the universe because at the end of the day, you all you got. Again, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you all. Soul Tribe.